Another five-minute mystery. Tonight's episode, The Radio Sound Effects Murder. Yes, it's another five-minute mystery, a chance for you to match wits with great detectives. Tonight, we present The Radio Sound Effects Murder. Come with us now to a radio studio somewhere in Minnesota. Pat, the theater director, Lynn, the head of sound effects, and an actor named Movell, and stand over the lifeless form of famed writer Barry Body sprawled on the studio carpet. That's the police. Pat, I beg you, reconsider what you're doing. I'm sorry, Lynn. I have no choice. Captain Steele, welcome to my studio. Thanks, Pat. This is my assistant, Sergeant Wool. How do you do? What? Hey! There's a body on the floor! Calm down, Wool. What? Hey! Captain, he's got two holes in, in his uh, chest. I'm afraid it's true. That's why I called the police. Give me the lowdown, Pat. Well, Captain, as you know, this is the most successful radio drama company in town. The man on the floor there is Barry Body, our greatest writer. No! Barry Body? What? Hey, Captain! He's the one that wrote all those mystery programs. Well, you search the body for clues while I, while I question these folks. Sure thing, Captain. What? Hey! So, Pat, who are these people? This is Lynn Majors, our head of sound effects. I had nothing to do with this, Captain. No one said you did, Majors. And this is the great Movell Williams. The actor, eh? That's right. Surely you think I had nothing to do with this. It's too early for that. I'm still gathering information. Well, I had nothing to do with it. I was back there in my dressing room when I heard the gunshots in the studio. I ran in to see what was the matter and discovered the body. And the body was alone? Completely. Lynn came running into the room a moment later. And what were you doing before you ran into the studio, Lynn? Well, if you must know, I was back in Pat's office. We were negotiating a new contract. I had hoped to work on Body's new show, but he was talking about taking it out of town. That true, Pat? It is. Lynn's the best sound effects man we've ever had. I signed him on for five years with a large bonus. Bonus? I've been with, I, I've been with the company as long as Lynn. I've never had a bonus. Quiet. We'll talk about that later. Quiet, both of you. Tell me, Pat, what did you do after meeting with Lynn? Well... I had a couple of calls to make, so I talked for a minute or two. Then I had just pulled out a new script to review when I heard the shots. Uh-huh. Captain, I've given the body a once-over. And? Two small gunshot wounds in the chest. Powder burns right on his coat. Like someone put the gun right up against his chest and fired. Yes, Captain. And he has this in his hand. Hmm, it's a contract. Sounds like body's latest play, The Hunting Shack Murder was headed to New York. He was going to be paid handsomely. That farce? It's not even radio. What do you mean? Bonnie script attempted to tell a story with nothing but sound effects. There's no actors in it at all. So you are going to be out of a job, eh? Nonsense. I'm fantastic. I'm always going to find work. It was a very innovative play. Brilliant. Leave to a sound effects artist to say that. Wool, get out your handcuffs. Yes, sir. And clap them on. Lynn, the sound effects artist. How did Captain Steele solve the mystery? Can you explain it all? Stay tuned for the exciting conclusion. And now we return to the sound effects murder. I'm innocent, I tell you. Take him away, Wool. I'll gather up the evidence. Right away, sir. Come along, you. What, hey? Innocent! Innocent, I say! 
Amazing, Captain! How did you solve the mystery? Yes, tell us. Simple, really. Movell said that he heard gunshots and immediately ran to the studio where he found the body. But Lynn didn't arrive for several more moments. Yes, but that was because he was in my office. But you said he left your office several minutes before before you heard the gunshots. You had time to make a phone call and start a script. Remember? Sure, but what does it mean? Come over here to Lynn's sound effects table. All right. Isn't this piece of wood here called a slapstick? That's right. It's for simulating the sound of a gunshot, like this. Right. Lynn left Pat's office and found Body in the studio, probably gloating about his fat New York contract. He shot him at close range by pressing the gun right up against Body's Body's coat. That would have muffled the noise. He then ran over here, made the sound of the gunshots, and ran to the next room to wait. Only after Movell appeared, arrived did he appear, making it look like he was nowhere near the scene of the crime when the gun went off. Amazing. But why? What was his motive, Captain? Simple. You had just signed him to a five-year contract when he found out Body was taking his new show to New York, and you said this new show was nothing but sound effects. That would have been a tremendous opportunity for Lin. In a fit of jealousy, he shot Body and tried to get it away with it with sound effects. What adventure is next for Captain Steele and Sir Sergeant Wall? Tune in next time to find out when we offer you another five-minute mystery.